notch to get the shape you are looking for. The trim and extend tools in Inventor make it easy for you to do this. Let's start with this sketch here, and I'll activate the trim tool. The trim tool simply trims whatever you select, back to the closest sketch entity. Inventor makes it clear about what's about to be trimmed by showing it in dashed lines. Pretty straightforward, right? Well, here's a trick you might find useful in certain situations. If you want to use some existing sketch lines as boundaries for the trim, watch as I hold the control button down on the keyboard. The status bar tells me I can select some sketch lines for the boundaries. As long as the control button's held down, I can select the boundaries. Once I release it, all I have to do is select the items to be trimmed, and Inventor will trim anything between my trim boundaries, even if there are other sketch lines that are closer. The Extend tool behaves similarly. I'll activate it, and when I hover my cursor over some segments, you can see a preview of how it will extend, again to the closest segment. Just click the segment, and it's extended. You can again tell Inventor what line to extend a segment to by holding down the control button on the keyboard, select the boundary, and when I release the control button, I can click on the line to extend it. That's all there is to it.